to lecture series of engineering graphics and design myself ankur patel and today in the second session of introduction we are going to learn about two very important topics of this chapter first is types of lines and its application and second is systems of dimensioning before starting this topic i would like to explain you about bis sp46 pis it is board of indian standard sp means special principles and 46 is a code so under this code 46 board of indian standard has defined some specific principles regarding the drawing and that principles are the principles of dimensioning littering and applications of the lines in drawing so our today's board topics are the drawing standards that we have to, or we must have to apply in each and every drawing so let us start with the first one types of lines and its application now what is the importance of the lines lines gives specific information to designers and manufacturers regarding the design and manufacturing of the product if a technical person doesn't have the knowledge of the line then it is not possible for him or her to read the drawings and to execute the work on basis of the drawings so in engineering drawing lines are used as the medium of communication so it is necessary for each and every technical person to have the knowledge of lines so let us take a look on lines so here this table gives us the information regarding the type of the line with its thickness illustration and the general applications of the line so let us start with the first one continuous thick line it is 0.5 mm in thickness and if you want to draw this line we will use the edge pencil it is darker in shade and it is used to show visible outlines of the object let us understand this line by using the figure here i have shown the orthographic view of the object so this is the sectional front view this is the top view and the side view of the given object so if you want to show the outlines of this object we will use the continuous thick line here you can see that the darker shade is a continuous thick line the darker shade line is a continuous thick line and these lines are the visible outlines of the object so to show visible outlines of the object we will use the continuous thick line next is continuous thin line it is 0.2 mm in thickness if you want to draw this line we will use the 4h pencil it is lighter in shade and it is used to show the dimension lines extension lines projection lines hatching lines hatching lines are also known as section lines ladder lines and construction lines etc let us have a look on the figure now if you want to give the dimension of this edge if you want to show the height of this edge we will well, first of all we will extend this edge so to extend this edge we will use the extension line and after extending the edge we will use the dimension line to give the dimension here the dimension is 25 mm so this is the dimension line and this will be the extension lines and dimension lines and extension lines are continuous thin line then after if you want to show the section lines or hatching lines these lines are known as the hatching lines in the section so if you want to show the hatching line in the section we will use the continuous thin line then after to show the projectors or projection lines of the object we will use the continuous thin line here i have shown the dimension of the circle by the by using the ladder line so this will be the ladder line so to show the ladder line we will use the continuous thin line now next is dashed or medium thick or dotted line and it's 0.3 mm in thickness and if you want to draw this line we will use the 2h pencil it is darker in shade and we can say that this is a short dash is medium it is used to show the hidden outlines or hidden edge of the object so here in this figure you can see this is the hidden line or this is a dotted line or dashed line it is the hidden part of this circle the circle is not visible in this view so to show the hidden part of the circle here we have used the hidden line now next is long chain thin it is 0.2 mm in thickness so if you want to draw this line we will use 4h pencil it is lighter in shade and it is used to show the center line or line of symmetricity or peach line and the peach circle so here in the figure you can see that this is the peach circle so if you want to show the peach circle or the locus or the center of the circle or the center of the object we will use the chain line 
Now next is long chain thick. It is 0.5 mm in thickness. So if you want to draw this line, we will use edge pencil. It is darker in shade. So to indicate this surface, which requires some additional treatment, for that we will use this line. So in this figure, in this figure, here we have shown the chain thick line. That means this surface requires the additional treatment. Now next is continuous thin and thick at ends. So the chain line, it is also a chain line, but it is thick at ends. So the ends will be of 0.5 mm thickness and other part of the line will be 0.2 mm in thickness. And it is used to show the cutting plane lines. Cutting plane line. If you want to take this section, we are uh, taking the section by using the cutting plane. And if you want to show that cutting plane, we will use the this particular line. So here in this figure, here we have taken this section from here. So to show the cutting plane, we will use the cutting plane line. Next is continuous thin wavy and continuous thin with zigzag. Both are 0.2 mm in thickness. Here you can see that the, this line is in the wave form. It is thin in shade and this line is in zigzag form. It is also in thin in shade. So VV line is used to show the irregular boundary surfaces and short break lines. Whereas zigzag line is used to show long break lines. So here in this object, here we have taken the shorter break to show the object from particular machine. So this is the part of the machine. So to show the part of the machine, we have to break this object. So here we have uh, take the shorter break. To, to take the shorter break, we will use the short break lines. And to take the long break, we will use the long break line. And this is our zigzag line. So these are the types of the lines which are used in different purpose in drawing. Now let us move on the next topic. Systems of dimensioning. Well, systems of dimensioning is also an important topic because in each and every drawing it is necessary to give the dimensions by using the particular methods of dimensioning. So there are two systems of dimensioning or two methods of dimensioning. One is align system of dimensioning and second is unidirectional system of dimensioning. And in both in this both system of dimensioning, we can apply the chain and parallel dimensioning. We can apply the chain and parallel dimensioning or we can also combine both these dimensioning systems, chain or parallel. So if you want to give the dimensions, there are four elements which are required to give the dimensions. First is extension lines, dimension lines, and dimensions and arrow. We have just explained the ex, uh, explained the extension lines, dimension lines, and dimensions. Now, what about the arrow? For that, let us uh, take our dimension lines. So you can see that the dimension lines are ad added with the arrow head. So this arrow head also had some particular dimensions. So let us take a look on the arrow. So this is the arrow head, and you can see that the arrow he head is a isoscalar triangle is an isoscalar triangle so this will be the base of the isoscalar triangle and this will be the altitude of the isoscalar triangle so if the if in the arrowhead the base will be x then the altitude should be of 3x so by using these uh, elements let us uh, explain about the align system of dimensioning so what is align system of dimensioning in align system of dimensioning, the dimensions are given such that it can be read from the bottom and right hand side of the drawing and the dimensions are placed above the line at the center. So let us have a look by using this figure. So here we have shown or here I have shown a square plate has a centric hole. So the side length of this square is 90 mm. So if you want to show the uh, give the dimensions of this figure. First of all, we have to extend the edge of the figure. Then after by using the dimension line, we will place the dimension in such a way that it can be read from the bottom and right hand side of the line. And we have to place the dimensions above the line at the center. So here you can see that this horizontal dimension is read from the bottom of the drawing, And uh, this uh, vertical dimension that we can read from the right hand side. And we have placed the dimensions above the line at the center. Now, if you want to apply here the chain dimensioning to, to show this edge from this particular edge and this edge from this particular edge, that means if we give the dimension in a, in a respective manner, like 45, 45, 45, 45. So this uh, this dimension is in the respective manner. That means this dimensioning is known as the chain dimensioning. Now, if you want to give the dimension of the circle on 
by using its diameter. So first of all, show the diameter of the circle, draw the ladder line and give the dimension of the circle. It is 530. 5 means the diameter of the circle. Now if you want to show the radius of the circle, draw the radius of the circle, uh, show the ladder line and place the dimension R15. R means the radius of the circle is 15. Now if you want to apply here, in place of chain dimensioning, if we want to apply parallel dimensioning, then we have to give the dimension like this 45, 90, 45, 90. So this is the parallel system of dimensioning. Now move on to next unidirectional system of dimensioning. Unidirection that means only one direction. So in unidirectional system of dimension, the dimensions are given such that it can be read only from the bottom of the drawing, and the dimensions are placed the in between the line by breaking the line from the center so let us have a look by using this figure again again we have selected the same figure but the issue is to give the dimension or to change the methods of dimension so here if you want to give the dimensions we will give the dimension like this by extending this extending the line and by showing the dimension line but here we have to break the dimension line from the center and we have to place the dimensions in between the line such that it can be read only from the bottom of the drawing. So here you can see that both dimensions can be read from the bottom of the drawing. Here also we can uh, apply the chain dimensioning like this 45 45. If you want to show the diameter of the circle, show the diameter, place the dimension 530. If you want to show the radius, show the radius using the ladder line, place the dimension R15, radius is 15. So this is the chain dimensioning and if you want to apply the parallel dimensioning then we will apply like this 90, 45, 90. So this is the parallel system of dimensioning. Make sure that in unidirectional system of dimensioning we have to break the line from the center and we have to place the dimension at the center in such a way that it can be read only from the bottom of the drawing. So this is it for today. Hope you have enjoyed this lecture. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lecture.